Well, hello everybody, it's Bug Eater 64 and today is a special day. We're going to be doing an FS Economy flight. It's going to be a little over 200 miles. Going to be flying my DC-3 and we're going to make a little bit of money. But, we're going to do it in X-Plane 11.50 Bravo 1. Yep, we've got Vulcan. And we're going to be testing it out today. Redone the settings on my computer uh, in X Plane, and we'll show you those when we get going. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. We'll see what kind of uh, changes have come up and uh, see how Vulcan affects the, the sim. So, anyway, we're going to be doing that today, and I hope you enjoy the ride. We'll see you inside the cockpit real soon. All right, so here we are at New Bedford, and you can see that we've got that little twin-engine aircraft sitting behind me, and why he doesn't go around me, I don't know, because I'm parked right where I'm supposed to be parked, right near the darn uh, terminal. And there's our sweet little airplane. All right, so still working on getting my track IR isn't working quite the way it's supposed to. So this could be very interesting. We may have to make some adjustments. <laughs> and an F-76 going by. Alright, so that's all working. But for this sim, I may have to readjust my track IR. Huh, interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and get logged in. Monthly cause script has been updated. Please download and install. Oh, okay. So we can't do a flight. Interesting. All right, well, we'll just have to come back and try this again. We'll see you soon. Get rid of me and everything and get us into the cockpit. So we've got your things just about ready to start. So let's see about getting an engine started. But it won't start unless you turn on the magnetos. Silly me. All right, let's prime the fuel and go ahead and see if she'll start. And looks like we got a good engine start. Why that airplane is stuck behind us, I have no idea. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and get the second one up and running. Go ahead and prime that bad boy. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. She should be ready to go. Let's see if she is. Another good engine start. Very good. All right, so where are we going today? Well, we're up here at Bed New Bedford regional and we're going to fly down to LaGuardia and then we're going to drop off these passengers, pick up more passengers and fly to Groton, New London KGON. So the total flight is about 231 miles but uh, you know and we've got plenty of fuel for that so that's not going to be a problem. So 
Well, let's see about... Uh, okay. Getting our flight plan in here. KEWB, and then we're going to LaGuardia. KLGA. And then from there, we are going to KGON. So that's good. All right, so that's set to go. Looks like everything else is set to go. All right, one thing I wanted to look at. We're going to idle down the motors. Then what I'm going to do is, right now I'm sitting here getting about 37, 38 frames. Now this is Vulcan in X-Plane. So what I want to look at is I want to look at my settings. All right, let's go to graphics. And as you can see, visual effects maxed out, texture quality maxed out, anti-lazing maxed out, eight times SSH plus FXAA. Okay, so that's good. Number of world objects maximum. Reflection detail, I've got it up two notches. So you know, just about medium, I guess. And I do want it drawn parked aircraft, and as you can see, I'm using Vulcan. So, uh, um, you know, that's pretty high. I did some testing with my machine, which is uh, NVIDIA i9-9900K and uh, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti and uh, 32 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAM, I believe. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So, everybody just hold on to your butts built in and let's take a look at the airport we're at. All right, so we're right here. And I can make that a little bit bigger. And we should just come, hopefully it's runway five that they want us to take off from. We're going to find that out. Right here. It is 126, 850. 85, okay, so it should be right there. And it is runway 5, so that's good. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. Excellent. So. Let's go ahead and get us moving. I think we've played long enough. So with that, this is all on. We want pedo heat on. Generator on. That's all looking good. And we want right now taxi lights, nav lights. <coughs> so looks like we are ready to go. So let's get moving.
Yeah, it looks like that plane's going to follow us. And I'm running uh, right now, sitting here, 40 plus frames per second, so that's very good. And that's with my settings max, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what w happens w when we get to LaGuardia, because that should be a very highly populated um, so we'll get our flaps ready for flight configuration. And let's take a look here. Everything's looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and flip on the landing lights. And ease our way out to runway 5. Approaching zero five on runway zero five. All right, we'll just hold it right here right now. Run it up. Brakes released. Airspeed's alive. Sixty, seventy knots. V1, rotate, and we are off. Positive rate, gear up. Gear up. Flap set. Now, I may have to, this is my very first flight with these maxed out settings, and I am seeing a little stutter. So I may have to adjust my sliders, do some more experimentation. Alright, we'll get rid of that so we can do this. don't want to climb at a thousand feet a minute. We'll make it about 500. Let's 
so that is everything's looking good so far let's take a look outside but even with everything maxed out it's bouncing it's right around 35 so I'll make some minor adjustments to it after this flight We'll see how it goes. Aircraft is mine. And we have the runway in sight. Landing gear coming down. Too high. Too high. I know. Approaching. Two. Two. Too high. Too high. Unstable. Unstable. Old bitch and Betty, she loves to bitch. And we'll just let the tail wheel ease itself down. All right, let's get her cleaned up. And we will get off the active and find a place to park. Uh, 
Alright, turn off the landing lights, turn on taxi lights. Over here by, I knew I recognized this area. It's the helicopter parking area. which I have used numerous times. And our frame rates, yeah, down to 25, 26. So that's still, that's, that's acceptable in my mind. When we're sitting here at LaGuardia. And I gotta go down here to do this. Parking brake is on. We're going to shut her down for right now. And we will finish this flight. Okay, very good. And. With that, okay, and as you see, we're at LaGuardia, and uh, we made a few changes with the sliders, and uh, we're now getting about uh, sitting on the ground doing nothing, right at 40, 42 frames a second. So a little improvement. At some point, we're down in the 20s. So. We will now get ready to continue our flight. So, let's go ahead and get the old girl started. Oh my goodness, excuse me. So sorry. Trying to pay attention to my flying and Start slowing down some more.
4.7 miles. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically we're going to make a big circle. And we're down safely. Approaching zero five. Yeah, we got her cleaned up, so we'll go down here to the taxiway.
Approaching zero five. Well, actually, we're going to cross zero five. Okay, so with that, let's put the parking brake on. Shut the engines down. And finish our flight. Flight completed. Alright, so with that also... Take a look outside here. And. So until next time, this is Bugeater64. Y'all be safe during these trying times. We'll see you in the skies. Don't know what I'm going to be flying. Always got to keep you guessing. I'm going to try and do a flight probably with the helicopter just to see how it works with Falcon. So until next time, as always, please, safe flying.